have as a final result is weapon sway on ADS like this and without ADS we tilt our weapon like this. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Aja Pro Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to add Handsway to our FPS uh, animation system. So what we need to do is open the main uh, anim graph and inside our overlays, we find our hand cannon and we need to be just here. And we open our hand cannon overlay graph, uh, the entire graph here. And we need to add one more variable that we don't have right now. And this one will be called Sway and sway is a vector 2d uh, variable just like the aim offset and we just save it and now we go into our pose into any pose that we want to add sway to so let's go into walk let's go into grounded state uh, default we don't want sways in the sprint and here we got ads pose and standard blend space that we are using for um our animations of first person hands so if i click run uh, and go into first person this and this those two anim graphs they're just those two blend spaces so let's go here and what we want to do is use modify bone and because of the entire ik system that we already set up uh what we want to do is just oh not here here what we want to do is just modify a single bone that we use in our IK system which is the virtual bone gun now uh, the way that we want to modify it is to ignore translation so we don't need to expose this we ignore scale so we don't want to expose this and we want to uh, add to existing rotation of this bone in uh, component space because right here we don't have any aim offset so component space x y and z are the ones that we uh, we are going to use and we're going to split this we're going to take sway split this as well and what we want to uh, modify is our yo and pitch basically so pitch is the y axis while the yo is the x axis and we just compile and save and now we go to our uh, main graph here where we use this linked graph we expose the variable and AGR Pro already has a variable for that which is uh, in leaning which is called aim delta and aim delta is a delta offset that is normalized in the same way as lean is being normalized so we can sp oh we don't have to and combine and just input it here and that should be enough for it to work so now if we hit play hit three go into first person now when i'm looking left and right my hand sways up and down it does this motion so we're going to make some small changes we go back here the Y goes into roll because it's not actual roll pitch and yo, it's just X, Y, and Z uh, rotation. And this bone space rotation might have different axes than we would assume. Um, so we will do this and we want to invert X. So we just want to multiply it by minus one and put it here. And you can see that this value is already normalized and it's normalized based on normalized values here. So if you go into uh, anim preview editor and you have setup variables, this uh, is basically the, um, the value that you are dividing by um, the, the normalized value from uh, your current FPS. And the lean smooth and aim smooth are responsible for lean and aim uh, delta smoothness. So if we increase that value, uh, it will be just a lot faster. And if we decrease this value, uh, the sway will be um, more visible. 
So right now, if I compile, hit play, go here, now I have this way on hands and this. And because this is done on the virtual bone for the gun, we are not only moving the right hand wrist and everything uh, is following like we did in uh, the previous setup that, that we did with blueprints only project. Now we are moving the gun and the entire hand moves uh, after it, not only the wrist. Okay, so we got this. So this is how far we can go up, down, left and right with this way. If I go into slow-mo, let's say 0.2, which is a very big value, you can see that it's still not going uh, completely crazy because of how uh, we have this lean smoothness. Okay, and if I go into two, it, it still has the same movements, even though our game is now running a lot faster. Okay, so if we want to increase this value, we can do it globally by going here and decreasing this value. And now sways are more visible, they are just stronger. Let's go back Hi. and if I increase this value, let's say to 15, it will go back to position a lot faster. Okay, so let's get back here, put it back to six. So, um, Go back to six, apply, then compile, save. So uh, now I can, of course, also divide, let's say this by minus two to make it less visible on the X axis. Um, and we want to add another uh, one of those here for ADS, but we want to do ADS differently uh just because i kind of feel like it so i just copy it here and i'm just going to use y as pitch and that's it i don't know what no x uh times minus one as pitch okay let's test it out so now if i go into first person ads now i have this motion where the gun and both hands are rotating when I'm aiming left and right but I'm not doing anything on y-axis so let's do the same thing that we are doing here so y-axis goes into roll let's do this and let's see how it looks like so we got this motion without ADS and this motion with ADS. So there's uh, one more thing that we can do with it. If we want, we can also use this modify bone for uh, not ADS. And we can say that translation, add to existing component space. And now if we go here, we can actually move the virtual bone um, and this value is being inputted here, compile save. And if I hit play, now I am holding gun in a completely different position. So if I, oh wait, let me show you in this main window so I can eject. So now I can eject and the character is holding gun a lot closer to him. So what we can do uh, is that for example, oh wait, uh, F11. Uh, so for example, we can skip this and say ignore, just skip it. And we can add uh, another node here. And this one will ignore the rotation 
it will expose this and not expose that uh, and this will add to existing and this one also be adding to existing uh, and while having this node selected and I will expose this as well while having this node selected I can now rot you know what rotate it right, this is the start so let's say minus 30 and let's say I want to get it closer compile if I now hit play I will have I will hold gun like this so a lot closer to my body and uh, tilt it but if I go into ADS I go back to my non IK position so now my pose uh, if I eject will look more like this So I can, for example, um, go here and put it even closer to the body and and rotate it. If I hit play now, three, I'll hold it like this. Well, let's rotate it the other way. I can hold it like this. So if I, for example, go close to an obstacle, I can start holding weapon differently based on um, certain conditions. So just to show you what you can do with this, by just modifying one virtual bone, you can modify the entire pose um, of the character by adding certain rotation and translation to the bone but you still are playing the animation and the animation is still the lead of what's actually happening with the character. So just by this very small addition of one uh, variable that is already there, what we have as a final result is weapon sway on ADS like this. And without ADS, we tilt our weapon like this. Thank you for listening and see you in the next episode.